Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm making a Dutch baby. All right, if you're new here, hi, I'm Claire. Welcome, come on in. Make yourselves comfortable. I do enjoy cooking, especially affordable and easy recipes. And today I'm going to share with you a Dutch baby. I love a Dutch baby. It is also referred to as a German pancake. I believe it does have its origins in Germany, not in the Netherlands if my Wikipedia memory serves me correctly. This is something I love to do on a weekend morning just because even though it is quite simple, it does look quite beautiful and my whole family totally gets down on a Dutch baby. So, is this video going to be quite short? Yes, because it's that easy. Am I gonna make this video anyway? Yes, yes I am. So let's get right down to it, Dutch baby time. So the recipe I'm using today is actually from the New York Times and I've made one small adjustment for my preference, but we are going to have sugar, flour, this is milk, whole milk that I have let come to room temperature. I have three eggs here that are also at room temperature. We've got four tablespoons of butter and this is where I deviate from the original recipe. The original recipe uses a pinch of nutmeg, however I find that pumpkin pie spice is the best because it's got like nutmeg and cinnamon and like all those little you know bits all the ginger lemon nutmeg cloves all the things so i find that pumpkin pie spice is great if you don't have pumpkin pie spice if you don't have nutmeg most people do have cinnamon and a pinch of cinnamon will also be delicious so that would work too all right so if you're familiar with like a yorkshire pudding this is very similar in like the way that it's cooked and we don't actually cook these on the stove like a traditional pancake we cook them in the oven in a cast iron skillet. You can also use just like any oven safe pan, but you know, I love my cast iron, so that's what we're using. So what we're actually going to do is we're gonna preheat the oven to 425 and we're gonna pop this pan in there to heat with the oven to come to temperature. We are gonna pour our hot batter in it to here while it's in the oven. So that's the first thing you gotta do before you make the batter. All right, while that's preheating, I'm gonna go ahead and make my batter. You can use a blender, you can use, I'm using my KitchenAid stand mixer because I love that thing. Um, but you could also uh, use a whisk, do it by hand, or you can use a blender. A lot of recipes do call for a blender to make a Dutch baby. But I'm gonna go ahead and use my KitchenAid with my uh, whisk attachment, and that'll work just fine. All right, I'm just putting everything in there. So we have three eggs, and shout out, of course, to my friend Lacey. Her mother has um, chickens, and I get all of my delicious eggs from her. So I feel like I've shouted her out a lot on this channel anytime I cook with these delicious eggs. Now here's my half a cup of whole milk, room temperature, of course. I've never tried it like not room temperature, so I don't know the difference, but if the New York Times says to do it at room temperature, you better believe I'm gonna follow the rules. I've also got my half cup of all-purpose flour and one tablespoon of just regular white sugar. And now for our secret ingredient, which is not so secret now, a pinch of pumpkin pie spice. And now we whip it up. All right, when it's well combined, you will notice it's very liquidy. It is not a traditional uh, looking pancake batter. It is much thinner uh, than, your, than your average stovetop pancake, so don't be alarmed. All right, my oven just dinged, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out, and now I'm gonna melt my butter inside of the pan. So we have the four tablespoons of butter and this will melt right away. You definitely don't want the butter to burn though so keep an eye on it. Now some people are going to take this out and put it on their counter uh, but I'm not. I like to live dangerously uh, so we're just going to leave it right in the oven. All right, here's my batter, and I'm gonna pour it right on top of this butter. And now we're gonna bake it for 20 minutes at this 425 degree temperature. All right, 
my timer is going off now. Oh, you can't see. I need a new light bulb for my oven, but she's starting to puff up really nice along the sides. So we can go on to step number two with the oven because yes, there are two steps. I know that's weird. But now we're going to bring down the temperature to 300 degrees. And we're gonna bake for an additional five minutes. And then we can eat it. Oh my goodness, she is beautiful. My goodness. And in 25 minutes, you too can give birth to a Dutch baby. Got a little crispy on this side. My oven runs hot on the right side. So, a lot of my bread items look like this. Oh, it's so perfect. So it's like this puffy little bowl. And you can fill it with anything you want. But I'll show you my favorite way. Now you can get really creative. A lot of people like to go sweet. Some people go savory. You can eat, eat it as it is, or like a traditional pancake with maple syrup. Or uh, you could do cinnamon sugar. Um, my favorite way, and this is a way you'll see a lot of people do it, is with berries. I'm also going to throw in a few blueberries because I have them and they are quite pretty. And for that final little bit of magic, I like to do powdered sugar. It just looks so pretty and so bakery-like. And seriously, if you serve this at like a brunch, or a breakfast with friends and family, they would be so impressed with this. I'm gonna let the pan cool down just a little bit because it's pretty hot, but generally you wanna eat this warm. You don't want it to get super cool. It's much better when it's nice and warm. All right, so the way you traditionally cut a Dutch baby is like a pizza. Yeah. I didn't know you were gonna put strawberries on it. Well, yeah, that's how you make it. That's pretty. Mm. Mmm, oh my gosh, it's so light, so crisp. You like it? It's so good, isn't it, boys? It's a 10 out of 10. It's a 10 out of 10? <laughs> it's a, I would just say, 9 out of 10. 9 out of 10? Yeah. For some reason, they just rate everything now. After we do our taste test, they just rate all food. Mmm. Well, I'm glad you enjoy the Dutch baby. All right, you guys, there you go. That was the Dutch baby. Thank you to the New York Times because I always kind of trust New York Times recipes. I've never had one be bad. So uh, thanks for the recipe, New York Times. Anyway, I hope you give this a try if you've never had one because if you like pancakes, if you like that sort of like buttery, croissant, flaky kind of pastry, you're gonna love a Dutch baby and it's way simpler than like any other type of pastry in that category, I would say. <laughs> so leave me a comment down below. Have you ever had a Dutch baby? Is this a thing in your family or in your region? I'd love to hear what you have to say. And of course, come on back for more and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. So good. <laughs>